we're going to take a look at set builder notation and also graphing these intervals. So the easiest way to do this is to remember when something is equal to and when something is not equal to. And so if we look at this first one, it's got a bracket, minus 2, comma 5, and a parentheses. So I know right off the bat that I need a negative 2 and I need a 5 because those are the only two numbers that it talks about. And the nice thing is it tells me that, that the one on the left is a bracket and the one on the right is a parentheses. So this part, and you just need to shade this somehow in the middle, whether you do it kind of as a squiggly line, if you want to use a different color. Now the key is, is now I need to write this in set builder notation. And so that's kind of one of those things we talked about at the very beginning of the term where we have x such that, and now we need to know such that what? Well, the number on the left is the minus 2. It is a bracket, so that means that it's going to be less than or equal to x, because we know x is what we shaded, and then it's going to be less than 5 because it's only a parentheses. So let's try the next one. I've got a 1, it's a bracket, and I've got a 3.5, and it's a bracket. Now to make sure that you can see where I'm kind of shading, it's you're shading in the middle here, so it's in between. So that's where x lies, is between those two. So to do set builder, you'd have x such that the number on the left is 1. It's a bracket, so that means it's less than or equal to x. It's also a bracket on the right, so it's going to be less than or equal to 3.5. So now what about the last one? Why don't you try the last one, pause the video, come back, see what you got. So on this one, we notice that we are going from negative infinity to negative 1. Well, I know that negative 1 is here, but infinity means it's somewhere way, way down to the left. So what I would do is then I would just shade everything from the end of the number line to minus 1. Now once I've done that, I need to do the set builder notation. So this time I've got x such that now, if it's everything that's down to the left of negative 1, that means all the numbers to the left are smaller. So we're just going to say that x is less than negative 1. 